guys, it's Kayla and Gus again. We're going to teach you how to do the oral medications. Now a couple things you might need to know before you start this endeavor is kind of how you're going to accomplish it. If it's a liquid oral medication, it usually comes with a dropper bottle or a syringe that the veterinarian gives you. If it's like that, then it's pretty simple. You just use your syringe and you'll just give it by mouth just like that. If it's a pill, like a capsule or a tablet, that one becomes a little more difficult because you can pill them with your finger and then there's a variety of different pet pillars that you can use. Um, we sell this kind here, it's called the bullseye. Basically it's got a little cartridge so you'll put the pills down inside. It's got this little stopper that you'll put in and it's got these two little partitions where you can use to keep your fingers in. Then you'll use this to kind of open the mouth. You go back back to the base of the tongue, and then you push on the plunger, and then it'll expel the pills into the throat. Um, the other type is one kind of like this one, where it's got a little rubber tip. You just separate the pieces, and you put the pill or the tablet right on the tip of it. And the same thing, you put your fingers right there. It'll have a little plunger back here. Do the same thing, open the mouth, back to the base of the tongue, and then you push on the plunger to put the pill down. With cats, the pills can be a little more difficult. So um, just kind of use what's easier for you guys to get. At home, for owners, pet pillars are probably gonna be your best friend. Um, at the clinic and personally, I like using my fingers. So some cats, if they're really good at home, then you can try that, but if not, I would definitely get a pet pillar. So what I'm going to do now is first just show you with an oral medication if it came in liquid form. You know, just like everything else, I like to have them up and not, not holding them or anything, keeping them up where they're a little less likely to jump away from you. Having them, their backs up against you is really easy because you can just have, you can hold them really nice and tight. Now I have my hands kind of right around his head, holding his head so I can lift it up and keep it nice and still. So when I give the medicine, he's not going to jerk away from it. But then I'm also using my hands, my elbows, to keep him nice and snug and pushed up against me using my body as a restraint method. So what I'm going to do is hold his head up. And all I'm doing is holding underneath the base of his head and over the top. I'm going to use my syringe and just kind of get in between the cheek pouch and then you'll just push a little bit, let him drink a little bit, and then push a little more. You don't, if you've got a lot to give, do it slowly so you don't overload them and they don't choke or anything. And if it's a nasty medicine, like some of the antibiotics can be kind of bitter, you may want to add, if you can, I'd ask your veterinarian first. Sometimes you can add a little chicken juice or tuna juice to help drown out the, the bad taste of the liquid. Um, so next we'll move on to a little capsule. So with Gus, you can have them laying down or sitting up, whichever works kind of best for you. Now some cats at home, it may be easier to keep them sitting up or laying down and then applying a scruff while somebody else pills them. Or you can try it the way I like to, is keeping them up and back. I use their jaws to kind of be a place for my fingers to hold. Kind of this upper jaw will be like an indent where the upper jaw and the lower jaw come together. And you'll use that as something to control the head. If you've got it good, you can move the head every which way you want. So I've got his head held. I'm pushing him up against my body. And then with my right hand, I've got a pill in my fingers. I use my middle finger to pull the jaw down. And then you just drop the pill inside. And if you can, you can use your index finger to sort of help it back to the base of the tongue. Cats are really good about once you usually get it into the mouth, they usually will swallow it real nicely. Dogs usually will try to spit it out. Um, but I do like to have a syringe around to help them get it down. It's like with people, you want to take your pills with a little water. So same thing with cats. So he took his pill really, really well. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of my water, and just like I did with the oral medicine, give him a little bit just to help rinse it down. Now, 
If he didn't do so well with just using my finger to pill him, I could have used one of my pet pillars with the same method, holding up him against me, using my hands to kind of hold his head. Oop, getting away from me. Using those little markers on his head to keep him nice and still. And here I'd use my pet pillar to kind of open up and then I'd stick it bound and back down into the throat to put the pill down. And then thankfully, he's a really good cat. However, again, at home, it might not be as easy. So if you try it at home and you find that it's a little difficult to do your cat with a pill, call your veterinarian. A lot of times we can reconstitute or um, we can call in prescriptions to get certain medicines compounded into a liquid formula. So it's a little bit easier for you guys to give.